Hey guys, just wanted to share this special my own creation. This is a NASA EMD SW1500 switcher which was used for the NASA railway. Um, what it did was it delivered uh, parts for the shuttle boosters, other machinery, and whatever the NASA railway actually handled from the FEC in an area called JJ near Titusville, Florida to Cape Canaveral. Um, these engines were retired with the onset of the closing of the NASA Railway in 2013 and one of them was just recently shipped to the Gold Coast Railroad Museum. However, I was quite intrigued with the design of it plus the fact that it would be pretty easy to build in LEGO so that I chose to actually build one as you see here. This is number two. Um, number two is a pretty old one. It used to be um, TPW, I believe that was a railroad that it, it previously was for and then it was bought by NASA in the 80s and then used to haul for the shuttle program. We're going to take a quick look at the details on this engine on both sides. The cab end of the switcher is very simple. It uses a classic 1990s train door on the back and it uses the train windows to imply the actual details. Like it, The arrangement of it actually looks like the real deal. Um, on the top we have our headlights, number boards, and also um, some sun panels or whatever you call it. I believe on the real life, in the real deal, there's only one on one side, but I just did both for the just so it looks pleasing. <laughs> um, anyway, we have here, I basically improvised a ladder to the side of the engine, the grills on the long hood, and then pretty much the, the plain long hood and the sander over there. Um, the real engine does not have any ditch lights and does not have any safety stripes so I pretty much reflected those elements in this design. On the top we have the exhaust of the engine. I couldn't do the bell just yet. I don't know how I'm going to do the bell. I'm not really planning to do it since this is meant to be a display piece. And on the side over here we have the grills which were done using a snot technique, the new 1x2x1x2 angular brackets and other elements to form the kind of slanted shape. This right here is the other side of the engine. We're going to start with the uh, actual nose of the unit which includes I believe a radiator fan. Well that's what it looks like in real life. And over here right up there is the ratchet brake which I used a couple hinge pieces and to kind of improvise. The other side of the cab which is pretty plain and has the and you get to now see the arrangement of the windows which actually looks pretty prototypical and the curved roof. So, I intend to use this model as a display piece on the Greater Florida LEGO Users Group layouts as it represents Florida very well and also it would look nice sitting in the yard with other engines. Um, I built it using 9 volt and it's not going to be really convertible to power functions. I don't really intend to run it around a lot, maybe on special layouts. Um, this model may also be integrated to the moon base layout with a slight modification. I spoke to Jason about it with the uh, GIF lug. He told me that they are building much shorter, lower profile models, so I guess I could make some certain modifications to this engine so they could run on the moon base. So you could see that events like Megacon in the future. But other than that, it seems like a pretty nifty build and it will maybe run and deliver parts for a space station near you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more LEGO Train and Aviation content. Hope you have enjoyed this video and look forward to more LEGO videos. Thanks for watching. TE out.